What's up everybody, welcome to Timograph where I teach you the tips, tricks, and techniques that I've learned over the years as well as the ones that I'm currently learning as an artist. I am Timothy Santana. Today we're going to be dealing inside of Adobe Illustrator. Finally, an Illustrator tutorial! So what we're going to be doing in Illustrator today is we're going to be creating this stipple effect. Now, a picture is worth a thousand words, and this picture pretty much says it all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right into the tutorial. Uh, there's no sense in me uh, talking anymore. Yeah! Tutorial! Right, so we are here in Adobe Illustrator CC, and I've got this project already loaded out. Uh, this is the texture that we're going for, the stipple texture. You can see here, pretty nice, adds an extra dimension to the artwork, and uh, let's get right into it. I'm gonna go over here to the bottom right. We're going to create a new layer. We're gonna start off, we're gonna call this, let's call this Moon 2. I'm just gonna try and recreate something similar to this. So we're gonna uh, select our ellipse tool. You can just hit L. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift. I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift while I drag. And that's just gonna give us that perfect circle. I'm gonna go ahead and click the selection tool or V and bam we've got ourselves our first circle now what we're going to do is we're going to open up this layer you see we've got ellipse shape we're going to hold alt click and drag up right on top we're going to have our copy now let's just go ahead and call this moon shad actually let's not call it shad let's call it stipple this is going to be our stipple effect we'll call this moon color so let's go ahead make sure we have our moon stipple selected by uh, hitting this little this little check circle right here just to make sure it's selected now what we're gonna do is instead of a color we're gonna go over here to where our color is we're gonna hit the gradient bam so now we've got our gradient and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna open up the gradient panel here and uh, we're gonna switch from linear to radial because this is a circle so radial um, circular gradient it's just gonna look better overall with this shape. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we can uh, we can go ahead and adjust now. You're gonna have your black, you're gonna have your white, and we're gonna go to the white side right here. Uh, you wanna make sure it's white, and uh, we're gonna hit zero on the opacity. Uh, once that's done, uh, you can either adjust here with the angle, uh, whatever you want. Um, you can also go over here and hit G or uh, select the gradient tool. You can go ahead and fine tune it however you want. You can go ahead and draw it out however you want we're gonna go for something something let's go with that all right so now we're gonna go back to our selection tool make sure this is selected our moon stipple and we're gonna go ahead and hit effect now we're gonna apply effect gallery once that is loaded up you're gonna have right here your grain effect under texture and uh, once you have that selected, it's going to appear here. Toggle it on and off. Now you're going to mess with the intensity and the contrast here. Right, you can see what that does. Play around with it. Get familiar with it. You'll see what it does. You also want to make sure when you go uh, when you open this up, make sure your grain type is set to stipple. Uh, I've seen people use speckle and I think sprinkle as well. Not sure. Um, but stipple is exactly the effect that we're going for. You can see a little stippled effect. Hence the name. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, adjust the intensity. You can see that uh, the lower the intensity it starts to show up more in the blacks, whereas as we increase the intensity, it kind of moves away from the blacks and starts to enter more into, uh, you know, the highlights, the white. So uh, we're just gonna set it. Let me go with 35. And hit OK. Now this looks terrible. I know. So we're gonna go over here to our transparency. We're going to drop this down. Instead of normal, we're going to set it to multiply. And once we have that, we're going to take the opacity. We're going to drag it down. And uh, I usually want to keep this between like 10 to 20. I think that's like the sweet sweet spot. And uh, you can just mess with this. Uh, I think 14. Yeah. Let's go with that. So we've got 14 there. And bam. We've already got ourselves a stipple effect right there. And uh, that's looking pretty great. Now we can go a step further. We could take this... Uh, this moon stipple and if we wanted to create a drop shadow like that we could just go ahead and hold alt and just drag and drop right below the moon color because we don't want it to affect the moon itself we just want it to be like a drop shadow 
so we have uh, we have our second right there a little copy let's just call this drop shadow moon drop shadow bam so now that we have this we can go ahead and either use the arrow keys or the selection tool we have it selected uh, let's just lock these so we don't mess with them and go ahead and drag it drop it into place you can use the arrow keys to fine-tune it you can uh, you can use these and you know do whatever you want with it it's all up to you um, but that looks pretty great and the thing that's also great about this is that if we also uh, hit G we can actually still continue to refine so say we want it to be a little less right say we want to introduce on the side there you see what I'm doing right there is that by opening this up you can still adjust your gradient and that's gonna affect um, the way the stipple effect looks overall so you can go ahead and just adjust it and uh, you see now we get a little bit more stipple and uh, it looks pretty great it looks pretty great so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna select V our, uh, our selection tool and so now we've got we've got that and if we want to we can drop the opacity a little bit more select it we can drop it to I don't know 11 I'm sure that's fine whatever your heart desires so now we've got this now let's just say we want to go a step further we're creating this sort of moon looking thing and uh, just for repetition's sake let's just say we wanted to create a crater now um, we could just uh, hold alt we can this is the way I did it fastest way and I just duplicated it pretty much I made a copy and what we can do is we can uh, uh, turn off the uh, the drop shadow layer select it all and uh, holding alt and shift to keep it that perfect circle I'm just gonna scale it down scale it down about there we'll just drag it to exactly where we want it let's just say like right there and uh, we can do this again holding alt click drag bam got another one drag it over scale it down bam and again the gradient is adjustable. We've got this. We got this look that's looking pretty good. Uh, we could change the color of the first moon. I believe that's what I did to sort of differentiate. So that I drove this a little bit lighter. Bam. Yeah. So this way, it's darker shadow. You can mess with the shadow, play with it a little bit more. I was very time limited because this has a release date. Got to pump this out. So. This is pretty much the moon effect. All I did um, other than that was just give it a little stroke on uh, on the edge there of the of the moon color. So this way it sort of pops out. But other than that, this is pretty much the moon effect. And uh, I did the same exact process with this, the create little sun thing. I uh, did the same thing with this rocket ship over here. And uh, all of this was created exactly the same way. So it's not complicated. I could sit here and give you multiple examples and be here all day uh, showing you how this effect can be applied to your work um, but that would be pointless and a total waste of your time now that you know exactly how this is done this is how you create the stipple effect now you can go ahead and apply it to whatever you want and uh, just get creative with it and that basically is how you create a stipple effect inside of Adobe Illustrator. Now, if you found this video helpful, useful in any way, shape or form, be sure to hit that thumbs up, give it a like. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos or tutorials, then be sure to leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions, be sure to ask and I'll get back to you uh, ASAP. Also, feel free to subscribe, and when you do, be sure to hit that bell so this way you can be notified of any future videos or tutorials that get pumped from this channel. I am Timothy Santana, and I will see you next time. You had to know I was going to do it. <laughs>